All right, folks, we got Vic back. He uh, he didn't come in this weekend. He he's uh, actually does uh, stripping on the weekends in uh, Fayetteville. Ain't you a male stripper, Vic? Is that what you do? Hey, oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're trying to get this head off just to see what's up at it. Hoping and thinking that this one's going to be in a lot better shape, but never know. We'll see. All right, folks, hammering away at it. Sure don't want to come out. The baits has got threaded holes here to force it out. But as you can see, we got some cracking and stuff on this head. But I think that's all just casting flaw. Uh, these things are so thick. If it's like the baits, it would be four or five inches thick. So I don't think it's going to matter. But we're going to find out when we get it off. We'll show you when it gets his toes after it chops them off. All right, folks, we're fighting it. It uh, don't want to come. Figured if we put some steam on it, we'd get it off. Some steam pressure, but Vic don't want to do that, so we're gonna have to uh, keep trying on it. All right, ask me again. Ask me. All right, very close. Uh, we're starting to see some of the. I don't know if it, I guess it's maybe some of the stuff they've done to try to repair this thing or something. I don't know. Either way, we're gonna get it off and look at it and see what it looks like. That's the important part. But it is being a bear. We got two, what, six foot bars on it, one on each side, and we're still having a tough time. So, uh, Vic's just sitting down, chillaxing. Having a good day, having a good day. Vic, with that sun in behind your head, you sort of look like, well, yeah, not an right. angel, maybe the devil, I don't know. <laughs> All right. All right, folks, actually looks pretty good. I think there's a sleeve in here. So we know that this has been fixed all the way across and down. Uh, I think this is a steel sleeve. It's separate from the rest. Or it could be a cast sleeve, but I mean it's a sleeve. I guess it's cast. So that's not damaged at all. So looking good for this engine. And uh, I think this is a little smaller. I haven't measured it yet, but I think it's a little smaller than 14 and maybe 12. We're pulling the bottom side now to check it. All right, all right folks. Uh, We've got the packing nut off of it, I guess you can call it, sleeve. Now we're going to try to get this lower head off. This is actually the lower head, the other is the upper head. And it was moving, but we're going to have to pry some. All right. All right, folks, after some hard work, we've got the lower cylinder head off. Actually, I mean, I know it looks discolored and everything, but it's not fitted. It's actually in a lot better shape than the other one. So the reason I've done this, I'm going to go ahead and put oil in it. I don't want it to get any worse. Uh, really impressed with it. I'm impressed that it's got a sleeve in it. So I'm assuming maybe that sleeve was actually original. And or maybe they were putting the sleeve in and maybe they heated it and froze the sleeve and put it in and then it cracked when they done that. That's always a possibility. Uh, I'm assuming and thinking that a sleeve would be original in this thing, but I didn't notice one in the Bates engine. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, the, the point is, is it's not nearly as bad as what we thought it was going to be, in, even inside the cylinder. It could all be cleaned up. Uh, I'm going to measure this thing here in a few minutes and let you know what the bore is, but I'm thinking it's around a 12. And the repair they done runs all the way up. I mean, it's not... I don't think it would ever give a problem. I think this plate needs pulled back off and uh, probably ground to make it look a little better and, you know, put a side cover on it. And you could hide most of that. And, uh, you know, most normal, you know, people, not Abby normal like me, but most normal people wouldn't uh, notice it. Uh, or Abby normal like uh, Vic. But uh, anyway, so. We're just going to go ahead and get this greased up or oiled up or something. Uh, the piston's up at the other end, so probably could knock it out, but I don't think we're going to. I don't have a uh, nut for the end of it, uh, which just really don't matter because it needs replaced either way. Uh, yeah, it might could be sanded down and ran. I don't know. Uh, the packing didn't look too bad, so it screws into the cross head right here. And of course, there's no, I have no nut for it, so I'll have to find a nut. Them are pretty easy to find on eBay, big stuff. So, probably two and a half inch or something like that. So, anyway, let me uh, measure the bore on this thing, let you know what 
what the bore is and we'll check the stroke on it too so the baits is a 14 by 36 so we'll see what this is all right folks 36 inch stroke which is the same as the baits but it's a 13 inch bore instead of a 14 so it's a little bit smaller we got a serial number on it 2930 maybe something like that i might be able to date it from that i don't know so like it, like i said it's in a lot better shape than what i thought it was it looks like they have turned all the head holes uh looks like this was the head and it could have been the head that blown out on it oh i don't think the head blown out on this one it might have been the other one blown out on but uh these were all holes for the head and they just clocked the head once and i don't know if why well probably yeah that would be wise because that's where it broke it so we're figuring it out as we go so anyway they did went through a lot of work to fix this thing uh, i didn't look at the back to see what they done because it probably blown out the same spot let's go look at that okay it looked like he just fixed it up to there but the stud did come out there's some weld in there so but it's deep enough to hold we just have to remember to be careful with this bolt we don't want to over torque it and pull it out did you hear that Vic? yes yeah, sir don't want to over torque this one and pull it out ever so in a hundred years when we put this one together we're going to need to uh make sure years well yeah i mean it's going to take us that long to get all this other ones done next week next week yeah, okay <laughs> you're way more optimistic than me <laughs> so looks like maybe to put a gasket seal on there we're going to take these off either way and uh because we got to see what's under it just to make sure i don't think there would be anything i think the reason they done it was to keep the metal from being on the cast i don't think it had anything to do with a crack or anything up there but we'll make sure we don't have to pull the valve i don't believe because they cut the hole out bigger uh i think all this is just support because of that crack and with it being welded and all these tie bolts i don't see any issues it would hold up all right all right so what are we gonna do Vic? we're gonna pull the piston out or we're gonna leave it you're the man i think we just soak it down with some coral and let it go and then uh we got to get some oil or grease or something in that cylinder so that's our plan we're going to get at it and then we're going to go find something real to work on <laughs> this is virtual stuff all right all right folks we got uh well vic has got it all oiled up in here i'm pulling the covers off and finally uh got to see what we got for uh the valves the actual cordless valves and the bottoms are pretty rough in there but i mean they'll come out and clean up i you i'm sure um, it's a shame that it got so much water in it but it is what it is what you doing Vic? nothing nothing taking more bolts out <laughs> get me bolts out this one's tight this end looks really good that other end's kind of wishy-washy all right so somebody has already put bigger studs in these on the top and then there was one broke off over here it's going to be replaced uh there's something going to be done about it varies in or something because there's no way it's going to hold like that or you know seal because that's the pressure side uh, everything else looks pretty good we've got the cylinder oiled up good i think that piston would come out just need to knock it this way but we're going to hold off on that so uh we'll Put these caps back on close everything back up but. all right folks we've uh went a little farther than what probably we wanted to go but we're going anyway so now we're uh pulling valves out this is totally totally stuck these valves are not like the baits where the baits went in there and the pressure just pushed them down these things are nice and tight in here which makes it hard to get this out it's got this uh hub puller on there a lot of pressure on it and not moving so i think we're going to mix up some 50 50 mix of acetone transmission fluid and actually fill this full and uh maybe if the valve shut it will stay but so far we really haven't got it to move at all but we have the top so we wasn't going to keep working on this but i think vic is wanting to become a cordless engine mechanic and you know he uh he's kind of addicted to this one now like he was addicted to the other one so uh we'll get him a little bit of help somehow maybe a hammer to the head or something like that what do you think Vic? all right 
he hit my head on the crankshaft. Oh, that's shaft. right. You hit, he hit his head on the crankshaft. So Twice. We, well. He's got two dents in I know. I see him about bent that crankshaft. But anyway, so uh, I don't know. We're just playing, but we're going to, uh, I guess, go ahead and we'll get that other top by up. But I'm getting ready to mark these. Uh, we're going to mark it just like the baits were marked. One, two, three, and four. And I got number of punches here somewhere. If I can see them and find them, I'm going to mark them. That way we're sure of what comes out of where and where it goes. All right, folks, here's where we're at. We've got the two top valves out. I have numbered them because they wasn't numbered like the Bates was. Uh, they've only got one mark on them. Time of marks was pretty simple, but uh, these things, like I said, went in tight, come out tight. And these exhaust ones are going to be a... I ain't going to say the word I want to say, but they're going to be hard to do. They're going to be a, a bear. And, uh, but we are going to get them out. But I did learn one thing about this. So, let me go to the other side and I'll show you. Okay. All right. What I want to show you that I probably won't be able to show you on camera, but I'll tell you, is the steam chest on top. If you go through the hole with your hand and you fill down to try to fill that weld, it don't even nearly come down that far. The steam chest actually stops above that weld, a little ways above it. And so that tells me that that was never a steam leak. Uh, steam never was able to come out of that, it's too low. So what I really think, and this is just a, my theory, is that this thing was sleeved, and when it was sleeved, they, they probably or could have froze this and then tried to slide it in or feed it in, whatever, and I think it busted the, the housing. I really think that's what happened. And they had to re-clock the head because it got that bolt, and it looks like some of the other bolts is messed up anyway, so I don't know how them would have gotten like that, but either way, they re-clocked the head, uh, put the tie bolts on, uh, and again, there's no steam pressure pushing so I think really it's more probably an overkill of the the tie bolts than what it really needed uh, I can't think of the stress that would have been on it. Uh, besides the stress of the cylinder inside of it there's no actual you know steam pressure in there I can't say that's what happened for fact but I if I was a guessing man I'd say that's what happened is that it was busted during repair and uh, like I said, I think Vic sort of, you know, he, he was, and he's got all right to be. You know, I think he was proud of himself for what he'd done on the other one and the help he gave me, and he liked it. And that's one of the reasons that he, he's wanting to mess with this one, and that's why we're doing it. And uh, we got some repairs to do. Uh, that got broke. Chip been re-welded and stuff anyway, but that's not an issue. Uh, you can see some re-welds on pieces here and there. Uh, Anyway, so we may use this to power Vic's truck with. Uh, will this fit in a Dodge Dakota? You can push stranger things in. <laughs> well, yeah. You talking about when I put your prom date in your car? Yeah, when you put that diesel motor in that little truck or whatever oh, yeah. it was. <laughs> you said it would fit your truck. Oh, you, talk, you ain't talking about the car, the one I dropped the 6.2 diesel from the yep. crane in. Yep. That's well, we was going to actually put this in the same way in your truck. Mm -hmm. Uh, from about 60 feet, if that's okay. 60 feet. Yeah, it'd make a good video. Vic. Let's uh, let's do it to the one that I just bought. No, Since no. It's already fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's where we're at anyway. All right, folks, we kept working on it. Not sure why. Vic wouldn't let me stop. Uh, so we got three of the valves out. Got one in or uh, one exhaust and two intakes, and this is the only one that we're having. A major issue with trying to get out got pressure on it we're gonna leave the pressure on it tonight and spray some coral in it i'll go mix up some acetone transmission fluid mix and see what happens with it but uh, i don't know if we've gotten a bunch done believe it or not and uh, found out good mostly good stuff i'm going to make another trip over this coming weekend trying to find parts for both of these and that'll uh, maybe save us a little time, trouble, and money if we can find them. I think they got bulldozed, but now I can take a metal detector. But the problem is, is how deep are they first and second? Uh, what else is in there? 
so it may just be a big mess. I'd love to find this arm. If I can't find it, I will just have to uh, find out what the measurements are from center up to the first rod and the second rod and build it. And of course the governor. Uh, it would have sit in here and had a gear that ran to run it up and then it would have had a pulley here and ran off of course the crankshaft. So, anyway, uh, I don't know. You know, you get to you get to working on something and you know you just sometimes just keep right on going with it and that's what we did we wasn't planning to but uh it worked out just fine so anyway i'm gonna wrap it up tonight and probably come back out here tomorrow and try to get that valve out of it and you know uh, i can put uh big the cleaning on it and doing whatever really don't matter how I many we clean it grease it and I'll put it all back together put the valves back in and get all that done and then when we do decide to do something it'll all be ready all right folks I've been doing a bunch of stuff I didn't want to do that includes yeah that includes uh, insurance tags paying taxes and doing a bunch of other crap uh, inspections but Vic's been working on this so we still don't have this out. We've got good pressure on it. Uh, actually filled it up full of the mix that everybody says is so good, which is half transmission fluid, half acetone. And it's actually sitting in there. So we're going to just keep pressure on it, keep tapping on the end of it, hitting on the end of it. And uh, Vic's got getting this stuff freed up. He, uh, I think he wants to become a coil steam engine mechanic he says he likes it he wouldn't be saying that if he was working on a honda or a toyota i promise <laughs> all right all right got kind of forceful i think vic's mad at me now i broke the corner of the casting uh but it does match the other two over on the other side that somebody else broke it wasn't vic it was somebody like 50 100 150 years ago <laughs> so uh anyway still got threads in there we're good but so we're gonna try a different way we actually got it to move a little tiny bit it did uh, uh, make some bubbles out the other end there so maybe it's soaking in and we'll get it get it out here soon that's really besides the piston that's the last thing piston I don't think it's gonna be nearly as bad to get out uh, anyway all right all right folks so here's what we got it's out piston come out uh, rings don't look terrible I mean, I think it'd be all right. The, top, the outside one's not even stuck. But uh, anyway, I'm sure they either replaced or turned that piston down. They probably turned it down from 14 down to 13, recut the grooves, put the rings back in, or put a new set of rings in, and then that's all they had to do to take care of that problem. So anyway, we are uh, we're going to go ahead and get this out of the way, and that way we're going to have to cut our hone down or make a new one. Uh, it's an inch smaller. We'll probably not do that. Well, we got this one here, but I don't think it's going to be hung. Well, I think we'll have to leave that one or bore it and build it up. We'll figure it out. All right, folks. Rusty old piston is out. I don't think the cylinder's bad. It's got some surface rust, but I don't think it's in too bad shape. You can see the piston over hanging on the forklift. Right there. Rings look good. Believe it or not, I think it'll be fine. So weird bore 13 inch bore uh from looking at you know the advertisements everything is uh nothing's 13 that i seen you know everything goes from 10 to 12 to 14. hey vic use your head to hit it that's the hardest thing around here <laughs> yeah i hit that dry shaft about it all right folks we're trying to knock it through got a solid old hydraulic cylinder rod and uh we're trying, so we'll do a little more and see what happens. Right, don't fall down. Stop coming out. Huh? She's running out. All right, hold it back this way. Transmission fluid coming out. Hold it back here, out. Charlie, so I can... I can't eat it, okay. Getting easier. 
Hey, Vic, the way you run your, that vacuum cleaner, you're going to make somebody a good wife one day. <laughs> We're working on the valve. Pulled it apart. We had a bunch of crap in here where it had been sitting. So we got it cleaned out, shot that back out. Right. Looks a lot better. A lot better, Vic. So uh, with a screwdriver. now all that stuff won't go down into the engine when we get ready to run it. But we have got this valve this far out. And I had to take a break. I'm not going to lie, it's kicking my butt. But we're going to get it here eventually. We got the uh, the wrist plate off and turning. We was going to leave it on part of the way and then go ahead and clean it up. Just leave it, but we got to replace this where it's messed up. So we just as well go ahead and do that. But anyway, that's where we're at. All right, folks. I think we're about halfway. As you can see it inside there. It's kicking our butts. You do a little bit and then you gotta stop and catch your breath. So coming along. Alright folks, after a whole bunch of hammering and beating, we finally got it out of there. Uh, I'm gonna clean it all up. We're gonna hone it out with a ball hone. I don't know why they made these things so tight. You know, the ones in the baits are loose and then they tighten up from uh, steam pressure. These ones here just seem like they're just tight. Uh, and the, the baits, there's no way that it's worn a quarter inch. So Anyway, so here's our valve out of it. Got a little pit and stuff in it, but I mean, nothing that's going to really hurt anything. We'll get it all cleaned up. And uh, it'll work fine. Uh, there's our valve we're working on, trying to get it freed up. Probably needs a new shaft in it, really. I mean, we may live with it, but uh, hopefully it won't leak steam too bad. That's something we can always fix later, change, you know, work on, whatever. Pretty easy to get in and out. And like I said, we had to get the dirt cleaned out of it. Uh, the head looks good. They, of course, they had to turn the head down to go down to the 13 uh, bore. And... Uh, we got a lot of work to do on the latching. Get all this stuff freed up and cleaned up. What a mess, eh? But anyway, I'm gonna let Bit work on that. And I'm got a LS swap I'm working on. We might do some video on. Uh, and I'm gonna try to get it probably done by the 20th if it's possible. I got a my next cruise in the 20th, and I'd love to drive it, but we'll see. And then. Uh, let Vic keep playing with this. He likes this. So I want him to do what he what he enjoys. So, all right. I appreciate everybody watching. Till next time. Bye.